Hello teachers and parents, here's a quick video tutorial on how you can help your child access our online reading program, which is um, HMH Ed Your Friend in Learning. So what you would need to do is you would need to start at our San Elisario homepage or at your campus homepage. So if you'll see here, I'm logged into our San Elisario district homepage. I'm hovering over the campuses tab and I'm selecting the campus that I would like to see. Once I'm here, under the resources tab, you can click into student resources. The first link for all students will be the Hello ID single sign-on link. This is how all students at home should be accessing any of our programs that we utilize in school. So once I log in to Hello ID, the single sign-on, it will take me to a screen where the student will need to log in. You're going to notice that my credentials have been saved here because of course I work from my own computer from home and my credentials are saved. So I'm going to emulate a student at this time um, with the student's district credentials. So once I log in as the student, it will take me to the student's Hello ID landing page. You'll notice that I'm logged in as a student and these are all of the programs that the student at one point or another has accessed from school. The one that we're looking at today is this one right here um, with the little orange smiley face and the word Ed. Once I click into there, it's going to ask the student to log in once again. So here, what is different is that I will again log in with the student credentials. However, this time I will need the extension. So the entire email address is needed to log into the Ed Your Friend and Learning portal. And for the password, um, it will be the student's date of birth. However, the month, the date, and the year are separated by forward slashes. And if your child's date of birth has a leading zero in the month or the day, those leading zeros need to be dropped. So for this student, let me go ahead and enter their date of birth. And once I do that, let me try that again. I don't think I did it right. There we go. And when I log in, then I'm able to access those reading and writing resources that my teacher may have assigned to me. So once I get here as the student, and if you notice up in the upper right hand corner, again, it welcomes the student by name. And when I click into assignments, right there is where I can see the assignments that my teacher probably has already assigned to me along with the due date and maybe any actions that I need to take. And then I would just click here to do so. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you and have a great day.